What's up guys, we're back with another insane video. I'm gonna be showing you guys an opening that my friend Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh did while we were in Los Angeles. I was there with him where he opened a first edition starter deck, Kaiba deck, and it was absolutely crazy. So I wanted to share this with you guys, but first of all, Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh posted this on his own channel, so I'm gonna have that down in the description. So make sure you guys go click on that and watch his video as well. The giveaway for this video, I'll be giving away. These three cards, we have a Zaborg, I don't know if you guys can see that, a Thor, Lord of the Acer, and we have a free The Matchless General. All you have to do is like this video, be subscribed, and let me know if you guys have ever had started at Kaiba, if you opened it as a kid, or if you've never had it yourself. Also, I want to mention that I can't announce what we were doing in LA yet, but I will tell you there's going to be an insane video that comes out about it probably in a couple of weeks. And then after that, there will be one other huge video that you guys should look forward to. It's going to be absolutely massive. So we have two great videos coming up for that. I can't quite tell you what we were doing there yet, but I can show you this started at Kaiba opening by my friend Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh. It's pretty crazy. So I hope you guys enjoy it. It's your Vintage Yu-Gi-Oh here today. And with me, I have Ruxin34. So this is part three of our three openings that I'm going to do. And I hope this is going to be the best out of the three openings here. We have a Starter Deck Kaiba English First Edition. So this box has seen better days, but hopefully the contents inside have remained pristine. So I bought this box for about $3,500. And once again, we don't have a knife, so I'm literally going to be like <laughs> ripping through the plastic. Bruh. Uh, we were out in California, so we could not fly with a cutting device. So if the I, ultimate cringe. Yeah, the ultimate cringe. So hopefully the contents have remained protected inside, but there's this layer of protection, then there's a layer of plastic around the rule book, the play mat, and the deck itself, and then there's another layer of plastic around the um, deck itself. So I think we finally got the top open here. So here's the big, here's step one here on is it centered Pray or for not. centering. Hit the like button for centering. Uh, I'd say that's pretty good. Oh yeah, yeah, let me see, let me see that. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. Pretty good. Tell. It's a good start. So yeah. you gotta, what's the next thing, the back? Yeah, so it, it can slide around a little in there, so corners, and then obviously um, there's always some back issues. So like I said, this thing, is sealed shut because it's got a, a play mat and the first rule book. I mean, look at the aging on this plastic. It's like turned like a like a reddish. <laughs> like I mean, this thing that is... That thing is like super red. Yeah, like it's weird. really know. old. So uh, hopefully we can get this plastic open. <laughs> I, do, uh, I do have a pin, so we might have to like crop it out where I stab the back with a pin because... Uh, <laughs> This thing is, this plastic is much thicker than I anticipated. We decided this was the perfect time to open a $4,000 deck. Yeah, when we don't have a cutting device. There <laughs> we go. I got a corner rip. Yeah, like this plastic is like literally like a... It's like this bread, It's like brittle, yeah. yeah. Like just um, aging apart. So I guess that'd be like an interesting thing to think about, you know, with all these old sealed products. Like at what point or are, are this... going to fall the, apart. Yeah, like the seals on, on uh, you know, LOB first edition boxes and stuff just going to like fall off. I, I do think there's definitely room for like some third party authentication uh, company to come in and like open factory sealed products, confirm the uh, contents inside it, and then seal it away in something way more secure and rigid. So we got the plastic off. So you guys have probably seen this on other openings. We got the e trading card game official rule book, and then this old school monster magic trap when it was actually magic cards before uh, spell cards came along. So yeah, we have our deck here and it's got this little flap. And so I think all three hollows are right on front. There's Lord of D, yep. Fluid of Summoning should be right behind this. So there's obviously a potential for print lines, which I do not see. That looks pretty good. From, yep. I mean, I don't have a great view of it, but yep. it looks pretty nice to me. Yeah, uh, there's always a chance for print lines and then you gotta be careful opening this plastic up to ding a corner. But I think all three hollows should be right on front. And what is the uh, what does the SDK go for on nine and ten now? So I think nine, a couple have sold for around five thousand. So that's like, I figured you know worst case scenario if I grade this and it gets a nine, I'm still up versus which makes no sense to me. Like these starter decks should be selling for more than a PSA nine because you pretty much should have a, about a 50-50 chance. So we're slowly getting this back seal ripped open. 
And the ten, what do you? What do those go for? I, over ten, right? Yeah, one is. I think at least one is sold for around ten k now. Wow. So this is potential. You know, triple your money here. Probably gonna really ding this back card. I think uh, it's just desserts. It'll be all right. Yeah, just desserts. <laughs> all right. At least that's the last card in the set. But these come out of order, so it might yeah. not be that. Yeah. I think the one I opened last time was like completely out of order. I mean, yeah, this plastic is like holding on my two threads now. Like it doesn't <laughs> just rip, rip nicely, please. Thank you. Okay, maybe. Yeah, they were out of order when we opened the unlimited. When I was did the duels with Gezi. Okay. Oh yeah, now get that sucker out of there. Okay, can we? Uh, who? Double blue eyes. Yeah. That was Almo, I think. Okay, so Video good. Mint. Get a sleeve ready. No double. Blue no, eyes. no double blue eyes. So That's how. So, there looks to be no real whitening anywhere. That hollow is popping. That looks so good. Man, that card just looks really good. Yeah. Put in the comments if you like L O B S D K. We got a PDS little, mark. we got a scuff mark oh, on that no. back. So that surface is going to get dinged. I don't know if that'll be. Yeah, what are the chances you could you can get it off? I don't know. I'll have to, I'll have to look at that. But the corners look really good. Man, other than that, it looks super nice. It just looked good. So we'll have to look at that. So I'm gonna guess just rubbing against this foil. So we'll see if this has the same kind of a, so this one is really clean, Flute of Summoning Dragon. So this is probably PSA 10 quality too. And I think, that one's I think these sell for probably, <laughs> I don't know, maybe 150 bucks. And then I do have a Lord of D, but the case is really scratched up. There's a little whitening, maybe, you know, depending on the day, but there's a print line on this one it's harder to see it's not as not as uh, yeah you can kind of see it right there right through his right in there so sometimes PSA decides to really dingy on that and sometimes they're just like yeah don't really care so another couple cards to look for in here I like I think sword stalkers in here and then there's judge man uh, we'll just go through it here so we have skull red bird pale beast not even gonna attempt it I can never remember that one's name. Reverse Trap, Dark Titan of Terror, or Ogre of the Black Shadow, Classic Monster Reborn. I think, uh, oh, I was, I was gonna think that was uh, Judge Man. Judge Man is notoriously off-centered. So we're hoping for a centered Judge Man. Two-pronged attack, off-centered. Remove Trap, Unknown Warrior of Fiend. I'm not even going to attempt it. Rude Kaiser, that's uh, one I would like to get graded. Ultimate Offering, Fissure. These always have dings on the top. I don't. Oh, it's get... the Konami Dragon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I don't get why these always have dings on the top. But this is always center, off-centered, too, for some reason. I uh, like that card as well. And Sword Stalker. That one actually looks potentially gradable, so I'll put that off to the side for now. We are at 38 with reinforcements. So yeah, these things are like, here's 38 to five. Like, yeah. I don't know why. I don't know what the deal. I guess they just wanted the hollows at the front. Yeah. For whatever reason. Yeah. I, I don't know why they cared about Mystic them Horseman, now. Rogue Doll. That's a classic. Dark Hole, Mystic Clown. Yeah, watch uh, the, the uh, very back card that I destroyed. Be the Judge Man. Be the Judge Man. <laughs> Destroyer Golem, an experienced spy, Castle Walls, Mysterious Puppeteer, Terror the Terrible, Yurabi, Sogan, Lajin. Wouldn't mind getting that in PSA 10. We'll put that up to the side. No, oh, it wasn't in the back. Just Desserts, D Human, Ukazi. There it is, and it's yeah. a little off center. <laughs> yep. Is it too bad? I think it is. Oh, it is too bad. But yep. we'll put it off to the side. Oh, the Secret Murder. Yep. Dark. Assassin, off-centered, Hain Hain, Trap Hole, Dispel, Master and Expert, Ryu Kishin, Dark Energy, and Hitatsu Sumi Giant. That was the back card. Oh, look at oh. that. Look at that. Uh, ink Stain. Whoa. So that's... Uh, that's that card's just destroyed. <laughs> yeah. So we got two pretty good PSA 10 candidates, and the blue eyes, I'm going to have to look at the surface and see if I think I can rub that off or not. It could just be waxing or it could be something, but I'll wait until I get back home home to um, 
try to try to mess with that. And if I'm successful, I'll uh, share my secret on how I'm going to do it <laughs> or how I did it. So that's going to do it. Uh, not, no real surprise here. I mean, you know what cards you're getting if you open up a starter deck. I still have one sealed for the collection, so I thought the, the risk and, and the reward was, was worth opening. And, I mean, just beautiful, nostalgic 2002 cards. And the anime artwork doesn't get much better than that. So that's going to do it for me. So I hope you guys enjoyed these videos here with Ruxin. And um, be prepared for some major epicness, hopefully, here in the next couple of days. And as always, thanks for watching. And there it is. You guys saw the Blue Eyes White Dragon came out with a little bit of damage, which was unfortunate because they're so expensive in PSA 10. But either way, still an awesome opening and an awesome card to get out of the starter deck. So I hope you guys enjoyed that opening. Let me know what you guys want to see in the future. The year is almost up, 2020. It's been a crazy year. We may be doing a year recap kind of video next. I'm not totally sure, but it should be fun. So that's it for today. See you guys later. Peace. Elemental Hero Dark Bright Boom! <laughs>